a lot of you men be gay. A lot of you men be gay, bro. I want you all to pay attention to this video to the end. And let me know down in the comment section, does she sound homophobic or not? Let's watch the video together. A lot of you men be gay. A lot of you men be gay, bro. It's like we don't even have to worry about if we getting cheated on with another girl. Like now, now we scared to look through your phone and, and you talking to a man, another man. A lot of these industry men, they all gay or, or have had gay experiences. These hood men be gay too. They be mad gay boomers floating around the hood. Oh my gosh. It's a lot, it's a lot of, it's a lot of, it's a lot going on. Does she sound homophobic or not? Be honest and put your thoughts down in the comment section. Because our beautiful sister here made this post and she's just like, okay, you, you've been in a relationship or you have a man. You don't even have to worry if the man is cheating on you with another girl. What you see now is men cheating on you with another man. And she's like, a lot of you men are gay because we're not we're no longer worried that you are with another woman we are now worried that you might be with another man so this video went you know to some lgbtq community post or for you page and they came to say that she's homophobic she should have said that that because she said that uh she might be with a man that is on the dl and he might not want to open up to her just because she's homophobic you know they were coming for her that she's homophobic da, 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 da. let me roll the clip she another video she made to explain herself and i'll be back at the end of the video i wanted to address my video on dl men i want to know what about that video gives off homophobic what about that video gives off homophobic why because we don't want the men that we be with straight women we don't want our men to like other men so you telling me that i have to accept that that i gotta accept being with a down low gay or bisexual man no i don't have to deal with that <laughs> no i don't all right i like my men who like i love it no, I don't want to be with men who like other men. And y'all are not going to make me feel bad about that. That does not make me homophobic. It does not. All right? I love everybody for who they are. That's cool. That's on you. Whatever whatever you want to do with your, with, with your life, that's that's on you. But at least be honest about it. At least be, the, be up front about it so I can make the decision if I want to fuck with you or not. These men be getting into marriages 10, 15 years and they be secretly gay. That was the point of the video. But it does not make me homophobic just because I don't want to be with a man who is bisexual. No. Uh, no. I don't want to. I don't want my man to like other men. I'm sorry. You're not going to make me feel bad about it. I said what I said. Fuck out of here. Hey beautiful people, how are y'all doing today? It's your favorite girl again, Mara Davis, and I'm back again with another interesting video. This was she sounded homophobic in the first video or not? I asked the question, so let me just answer my own. I don't think she sounded homophobic. In fact, I saw the video some while ago and I was like, okay. But later I now saw another video where people were dragging her like the you know LGBT community lgbtq plus community people were dragging her like she's homophobic da, 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 da. and i'm like oh, i went back to watch the video again <sighs> to me i don't think she was sounding homophobic anyways let me roll some reaction from the lgbtq or some other people reaction talking about this video let's watch these videos together and i'll be back to share my thoughts at the end of the video i wanted to address my video on dl men Hi, I think I can help you with that, right? The reason why a lot of people can take where your video um, can come off very, very homophobic is the first 30 seconds of it, right? First thing you say is, you guys, be gay. You guys, be gay. Which 
you're basically saying a negative connotation of saying if a man is gay, there's something wrong with that, which there isn't. Okay, whatever someone chooses to do, it's perfectly fine with that. Now, if you would have flipped your video around, right, and talk about how men in the industry or men who choose to live a double life or whatever situation and dealing with women and also as well dealing with men without being transparent on both sides. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Your video comes off non-homophobic. You're just basically saying that, you know what I'm saying, men that are living a dual life shouldn't be doing that. Fine. Yeah. But it's how your video starts off with the fact that you're bringing negative connotation towards a um, man being gay is coming from homophobic viewpoint. That's just what it is at the end of the day. Because a lot, not all, heterosexual women are homophobic, but it also is where I carry around gay men as if they're Yorkie and they're small little purses. You guys will fraternize with them, play with them, have them do your makeup and doing all those accessories and things for them. But deep down inside, you don't respect them. You know what I'm saying? You don't like them, a lot of you. Not all, but not, not a lot of you like them. So when you say statements like the opening portion of your video, you're basically saying that a, a man being gay is a negative thing. And then you try to then connect it with being with a man that's DL and that's living double life. No, which you should have just started off with the DL portion and being in fear that, hey, like, I would rather date a man that's honest and transparent about his dual situation than for someone to be uh, living and hiding one portion of himself. Okay. That's what can be called as, you know what I'm saying, being transparent and honest. But because how you started off that video, it's giving homophobic, homophobic. That's just my viewpoint. Like, share, and comment. What do you think? A lot of you men be gay. A lot of you men be gay, bro. So now that you've cracked the case, Sherlock Holmes, what are you gonna do with that information? Because a lot of y'all are only bringing this up because of what's going on with Diddy. But y'all can't get past the gay stuff to get to the SVU cases that's going on. He is being accused of moving people like products. And he settled a case in less than 24 hours for abusing his then significantly younger girlfriend. Y'all have lost the plot. This thing has shit to do with being gay. This is everything to do with that man being the biggest supervillain for the last 30 years and getting away with it until now. And let's take the Diddy thing out of it. What are you going to do to make sure that DL men no longer have to feel like they have to be DL anymore? Quickly, I'll answer for you because you made this video so it lets me know not a goddamn thing. People being gay and high is not some new phenomena that just started. The gag is that people like her and the ones in her comments don't realize that they are a part of the problem. They make these black men feel unsafe to come out. You can't demand honesty out of a person and then not give them a safe space to be honest in. But then again, the way a lot of y'all was raised and raise your own children lets me know enough to know why you think this is acceptable. But this is not the gotcha moment that any of you think this is. Any homo, I said what I said. Remember to keep you cute in the comments because I read good books and bad people. I love my supporters so much. And to the rest of you, have the day you deserve. Bye. Hey, a lot of you men be gay, bro. Okay, so I really hate when straight women complain about like DL men and DL culture, when they n don't like actively make any effort to make the world a more safe place to come out. Like they will be actively homophobic, emasculate gay men, use being gay as an insult, um, not call out other people in their families, particularly men when they're homophobic, but then have the nerve to be like, oh my God, all these guys are gay. Like they're gonna be DL behind my back, this, that, and the other. And while I'll never, ever, ever excuse a man using a woman as a beard and then cheating on her. I think that's awful. I think that's disgusting. But at the same time, you can't complain about that if you don't make the world a better place to come out. You don't, you like, I can't, I can't stand when people perpetuate homophobia and make like hostile environments for gay men, but then be surprised or then complain when gay men are stuck in the closet. And the funny thing is, is like, a lot of women, straight women in particular, are very complacent or just kind of like covert with their homophobia. Like they might have like some gay friends or hang out with gay people, but the moment that their son is gay or their kid's gay, it's a problem. They won't call out any of their like male family members or boyfriends when they're homophobic. They won't do anything like they are maybe not super homophobic themselves, but anyone around them who's homophobic, they won't, they won't bat an eye at. They'll just be like, eh, it's just how they are. Like, you can't, again, you can't complain about the problem or DL culture or men being in the closet 
if you don't make the world an easier place to come out, in my opinion. But yeah. If you see it, can you put your thoughts and your comments and your opinion and your suggestion down in the comment section? So now we're talking about being homophobic, the day of men that do not come out. And this particular woman was just trying to explain herself that you'll be in a relationship with a man and you don't even have to worry again if he's cheating on you with another woman. What you should be worried about now is him cheating on you with another man. And she coming out on her TikTok page to talk about it. And a lot of people or the LGBTQ plus community people are coming for her that she's homophobic. And in her comment section as well, she, sound, she said she sounded homophobic. She shouldn't have said that a lot of you guys are gay. That the fact that she's saying it means it doesn't allow these men to come out. These black men that are on the DL doesn't allow them to come out very well because there is not a safe safe place to come out are you in support of that or the other way let me know down in the comment section for me i feel like as i said earlier i don't think she sounded homophobic i don't even think in fact it was not in my head in fact when i saw the video at first that i saved the video like i'm gonna go back and you know check the stitches on the video and come and talk about it before i saw people dragging out already on my for you page I, I, it didn't come to my head that she sounded homophobic. In fact, I've seen a video of a particular lady, you know, talking that, you know, this man and a, a man that, you know, has everything. He has a good family. He has a beautiful wife. He has a beautiful children. He's, you know, he's earning well. His wife is not, you know, giving him problem. There's no issue and all of that. And... At the end of the day, he still goes out to cheat. And the lady was like, it means that the man is looking for another man. He's looking for what he's looking for in a woman. It's not what, because it, whatever he's looking for in a woman, he gets ease in, it, in his wife or he gets in, ease in his woman. But then he still go out to look for something else that is not lost. Definitely is looking for another man. And I, when I saw the video, I was like, okay, yeah. Probably this is what this woman is trying to say because this man, they act like they want to be with a woman, but then down low, they want to be with a man. And it's so annoying because most of them do not come out to say these things because probably shame, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know much about it. So they don't really come out to say this. So they hide in, you know, they just hide and try to be with a woman and but at the end of the day they go out there to cheat with a man we've seen stories of there's a particular woman that was sharing a story where she was married how she divorced her ex-husband she said she knew that her, her husband was cheating on her and he always said he was she was going to play golf or he was going to play golf every saturday or something that one day she followed him and she went to the house where he always parked the car and he was going he was seeing another man and it was like, okay, this is this is why I'm actually da 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 I'm gay. You know, and my own is if you're this kind of if you're attracted to a man, why can't you just stay if if you if you're not okay to open up your sexuality for me, I, I don't know how it is. I feel like you should just stay single than being in a relationship with a woman and she trusts you, puts everything in all for you. And at the end of the day, you actually interested in a man. Because I feel like there's nothing a woman can do that's the woman that you're with will do for you you will never be satisfied because you are naturally attracted to a man so i don't see anything wrong for me, for me i don't see anything wrong with the video and this is just like an awareness and i feel like men most men do this they are naturally attracted to men they um they want to be with a man but then because of society because of what people say because of their family members because of friends they go out to be with a woman and get married to the woman but they still go out there to cheat with a man and that's just living double life and trying to hurt your partner in another in a very bad way and i don't think <laughs> see there's another thing catching your partner cheating with a woman and there's another thing catching catching him cheating with another man i feel like that is very very annoying and to me disgusting Sorry, I used that word. Anyways, let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. And thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section. Do you think she sounded homophobic or she did not?
let me know and we'll see you. <laughs> i'll see you in my next video <laughs> bye bye